We're here in our Saturn Overdrive department. We bought the license from Warren in 1991 to remake the Warren Overdrive. We still ship these out by 20 a month. Here are the parts. We're in the assembly section. All the parts it takes to put one of these together. Again, this stuff's all manufactured and made here at Advanced Adapters. So this is the Tremec TR4050. You can think of it as an aluminum case, New Venture 4500. When New Venture went out of business in 2006, 2007 was uh, done, the OE, Dodge, and GM both still wanted five-speed transmissions for their uh, vehicles in South America, after uh, overseas market. They were still running five-speed transmission, so Tremec stepped up the plate and built the TR4050 to replace trucks they were using NV4500. So for years we knew this transmission existed, but we could never get it in the United States. Finally, we were able to get these transmissions here. We sell these transmissions with availability of cores and you know the transmission about 15 NV4500 is 15 years out of production. These are great, we've got parts supply for them. They were used in an OE application for 15 years, so Tremix is gonna continue to support it. They were such a copy that the front side, we use our existing MD4500 bell housings that we did for all of our GM transmissions. Our adapter plates with the longer forward input shaft still work. Makes it for a really nice, Transmission. These are a little different gear ratio. They kind of split in between the early and the late GM gear ratios. They're a 616 first gear, and then um, overdrive is 0.76. Um, but they're brand new transmissions. They don't take special oil. They just run Dextron 3 oil in them. And we try to keep these things in stock all the time, ready for shipment. It's a really nice unit. The other thing with it being aluminum. They are about 40 pounds lighter than an MD4500. What is the application for this transmission? This transmission, the way Termix imported these for us, they're actually made a hybrid version to bring into the United States for us to sell. So this is a Dodge four-wheel drive transmission with a GM input shaft in it, um, which would be just like uh, how we hybrid most of our 4500s for our conversion applications already. What is the retail price on the new unit? Just shy of $3,700. New outright, no corn, they're brand new. And you feel it has the stamina of an NV4500 or $5,600? Well, okay, if you compare apples to apples, you gotta these were used in, these would be equivalent to a Chevrolet NV4500 or an NV4500 used with a gasoline V8 in the United States. So would you recommend this as a replacement for OE transmissions in only gasoline applications? Well, it doesn't quite. You could use it for a Dodge application. There's a Dodge input shaft that you can use it for a Magnum 5.9 gas Magnum replacement. It would work as an OE replacement. Um, it would use the same bell housing that was down there before and uh, work, but That'd be about the only application it would work for as a direct replacement. What are the output splines? What's the spline count? Uh, 23 splines just like all your other Chrysler transmissions. So this is ideal for a heavy duty Jeep application then? Yeah, we use it for conversions. We're putting in Broncos, Jeeps, okay. Land Cruisers. It would be perfect for that. Yeah. And even a retrofit application into a full-size truck, a resto mod truck, something that we're not trying to replace a stock unit with, but maybe retrofit in place of a four-speed or something gotcha. like that.
You would not recommend this for my Cummins uh, 5.9 liters? That's not even an inch and a quarter input shaft available gotcha. for it. Gotcha. I uh, see that. I see the size of it. Yeah. What is this uh, spline and diameter? On inch the and an eighth for this one. Be ideal for a Jeep. Yeah. Perfect. So what would incentivize somebody to use this over the AX15? It would be the stamina. This is yeah, way superior. Yeah, it's twice as strong. So what do they do for a shifter? Dodge MV4500.